I grew up in Craigmore, north of Adelaide. Brother and a sister, we were quite close, did everything together. So played cricket, soccer, footy, um, you name it, we played it. So yeah, very fortunate growing up to, to have a very competitive brother to, um, to play at the backyard with. Mum and Dad both love their sport, love their footy. Yeah, school was, uh, I was a joyful kid who enjoyed having a bit of fun. I didn't take it very seriously, which I, I, I um, regret a little bit, but no, I, I absolutely love school. It gave me the opportunity to do what I do now and, and love. And I had a family that was very supportive of cricket and, and a school that was as well. So it gave me every opportunity to pursue what I wanted to pursue. Jessica, we went to school together actually, so we've been together for quite a while now and, and two dogs, and it's probably been the best part of everything that's gone on in my life so far. Your first memories of cricket? It's actually driving home from an indoor soccer game and, and seeing the guys playing on Craigmore Cricket Club's oval and um, just asked mum to pull over and wanted to play and um, she suggested that I was too small and um, but went out there and asked and, and I ended up being out there and playing for a couple of seasons before for joining up uh, with Teacher Gully. I was fortunate to play at Tea Tree Gully Cricket Club under Peter Sleep, who was a South Australian great and played for Australia. And I guess he brought me through the whole system until I debuted for South Australia. So to have someone of that pedigree, I guess, to teach me the game alongside of a lot of senior players at Tea Tree Gully, I think held me in really good stead when I come through South Australia in the 17s and 19s and then ultimately play Shield Cricket. My first match for Australia was short-lived. I was in St Kitts for a one-day game um, against the West Indies. I think I, I come in late in the innings and, and had to try and slog him, but it was awesome. I didn't think I was going to have an opportunity on that tour. Trained hard and, and was able to get a chance. Yeah, it was a bit of a blur, the first one. It's through, indeed. It races away to the boundary. Test match century number two for Travis Head. Amazing list of famous names on the honour board on a Boxing Day century.